uh, camera shutters almost drowns out the sound of the helicopters overhead as the First Lady and President arrive and there Theresa May and Philip May coming out of number 10 to uh, greet the couple. Of course, Melania Trump uh, spent time with uh, Philip May last year during that working visit while the president and Mrs. Trump, uh, while the president and Mrs. May had their meetings. So the two couples now standing on the steps of Downing Street. Just a few days, of course, before Theresa May stands down as leader of the Conservative Party. And Norman, your, your big picture thoughts on what we're seeing? Well, it's, it's a final farewell for Theresa May, her last big moment, I guess, on the world stage. Obviously, she'll attend the, the D-Day commemorations, but in terms of a major political moment, this is her farewell, farewell. And, you know, it's a moment she would have hoped would have turned out very differently. Clearly, she would have liked this to be the moment when she could trumpet a Brexit deal when she could look forward to a trade agreement with Donald Trump. Instead, we have a much more subdued, low-key uh, meeting. I mean, there'll still be the news conference afterwards, which will be interesting in terms of more broadly looking ahead at relations between our two countries. But the edge has gone out of this meeting. The real sort of key political are not going to be addressed here. They're going to be addressed when we know who succeeds Theresa May. And